it's me, the ukulele teacher. And as you guys may have noticed, over the last week or so, I have taken a break from social media and a break from YouTube because I wanted to clear my head and I wanted to clear out the guest bedroom upstairs. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but I keep all of my music and filming junk up here. And in fact, there's so much stuff up here that I've never even looked at half of it. So I thought it would be a good time to clear out the room and see exactly what I've got. When I was clearing out my music cupboard over here, right up the top, I found a cardboard box that had been sent to me by Carla, I think before we even left America last year, that I've basically carried halfway around the world with me and I've never even opened it. So I don't even know what's inside, but I thought it'd be a cool thing to unbox in front of you guys. This is not a ukulele. In fact, it's a lot heavier than a ukulele and I'm gonna need both hands for this. So this is the box and I'm gonna need something to open it with. So grab your Stanley knife and make sure it's in tune. Oh, that sounds good to me. And let's open up this box and see what on earth is inside. And kids, if you're watching at home as well, be careful with knives as well. Always get a grown up to do this for you. Oh boy. Oh wow. Let's take this out. Oh. Let's discard the box. If I am not very much mistaken, this looks like a Cajon. Yes, it is a Carla Zebrawood Cajon. Here is the sound hole. Hello. 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 Warning. When you sit down on one of these things, be careful not to sit on your cajones. So the good people at Carla have actually sent me a cajon and I can only apologise because I have been carrying this around the world for over a year. And I know I should have opened it sooner and I'm very, very, very sorry. But I have to say, I do not really know anything about cajones. I am the ukulele teacher, not the cajon teacher. From seeing them at gigs, I think they're something like a drum kit in a box. So basically, if you haven't got room or space to set up a drum kit at a gig, or you want something more portable or just a more acoustic sounding percussion, then um, a cajon is for you. Now, like I said, I don't know how to play them, but I believe that depending on where you hit them on the box, you get different kind of tones. So if you hit it towards the bottom, you get a sort of bassy tone. In the middle, you've got a sort of hi-hat sound. And towards the top, I believe, is your snare. And I understand you can augment the sound with extra percussion instruments. For example, I've got a little tambourine by my right foot down here. And if I try and hit that at the same time as I play the bass, And that gives a little something extra as well. And I've seen someone do this on YouTube. I don't know if it'll work for me or not, but apparently if you move your leg up and down the, uh, I was gonna say the fretboard, it's not a ukulele, but if you move your leg up and down the, the skin or the face of the uh, cajon, it'll alter the tone somewhat. So let's see if that works. So I guess I've got a few of the basic ideas of a cajon, but I really don't know any beats or rhythms that uh, a drummer would know, so I'm just gonna have a little play around and just see what I can do with it. Well, I have had a lot of fun playing with this cajon, but like I said, I just do not know what I'm doing. So I'm gonna have to watch a couple of YouTube tutorials, teach myself a few beats and rhythms, and come back to you maybe in a week or two when I've learned a few bits and pieces that I can do with my cajon. But in the meantime, I wanna say a massive thank you to Carla for sending this out for me. I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with it, and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun when I figure out how to record it. Uh, maybe I can use it in some of my own songs or music making. Thank you guys for watching this video and for supporting my channel. I really, really appreciate it. I will do my best to find out a bit more about cajones. Anyway, I'll be back again soon with some more great lessons and videos for you, mainly ukulele based, of course. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this cajon excursion. And until next time, I love you all and I wish you the best.